it's a delicate balance. The, the people want to get back to work, but we have to do it as safely as possible. How should we be thinking about this as both business owners and then patrons who will you know, hopefully go out and, and support these restaurants and other businesses once it's safe to do so? Well, I think a lot of people are going to be looking to stay local. I think what you're going to see is local restaurants within local communities probably doing things to reassure the local community that they're um, providing good oversight of their establishments. You could even see restaurants banding together and other small businesses coming together in a local community and putting a testing machine in a local urgy center and saying, well, we test our waiters every, every Thursday night. I think those kinds of things aren't going to be that unusual. The other thing that state governments and local governments could be thinking about right now is trying to relax ordinances that allow more activity to be moved outside. There's a lot of data now that says that uh, the spread of this virus is less efficient outdoors. There was a study out of China recently that looked at clusters of illness um, and traced back where the index case was. And in every single case, the index case that infected other people occurred indoors, not outdoors, when we're talking about large groups of people that became infected. And so there is some belief that if you move certain activities outside, it's lower risk, not no risk, but lower risk. And so Local communities can relax ordinances, allow restaurants to move tables outside on sidewalks and in, in parking lots, other places, so that more of this activity can take place outside. Dr. Gottlieb, there's another development in a story we first spoke about last evening, and that is comments made by the CDC director to the Washington Post yesterday to refresh our viewers' memory. It's when he said there's a possibility the assault of the virus on our nation next winter will actually be more difficult than the one we just went through. The president tonight at the news event said that he said that the CDC's uh, leader was totally misquoted. Then uh, Mr. Redfield clarified, let's listen and we'll react to it on the other side. Here's the CDC director this evening. When I commented yesterday that there was a possibility of the fall winter, uh, uh, next fall and winter, it could be more diff difficult, more complicated. When we had two respiratory illnesses circulating at the same time, influenza and the coronavirus 19. But I think it's really important to emphasize what I didn't say. I didn't say that this was going to be worse. I said it was going to be more complicated or more difficult and potentially complicated because we'll have flu and coronavirus circulating at the same time. We are building that public health ca capacity now to make sure that we stay in the containment mode uh, for the upcoming fall and winter uh, season. So we will not need to resort to the kind of mitigation that we had to this spring. That was the CDC director. Dr. Gottlieb, the president says flare-ups next uh, autumn would be little, in his words. You told me last night you agreed with what the CDC director was saying, that next fall could be difficult because of the flu and coronavirus coming back. Well, that's right. It's certainly going to be more complicated having coronavirus circulate with the background of flu. Um, when we know flu is going to become epidemic starting in the fall into the winter, so it's going to complicate our ability to diagnose coronavirus when, it, when um, signs and symptoms of coronavirus are going to be easily confused with flu. Um, this does have the potential to become epidemic in the fall and going into the winter, the coronavirus. I think we are going to have a better toolbox heading into the fall. We're going to be more vigilant. We're going to be screening and testing for it. We might have more, more than one therapeutic able to help mitigate the risk of the infection. But this is an infection that's going to want to come back. It's probably going to become epidemic in parts of the southern hemisphere. So that's going to create a pool of risk for where it can come back from. And this spreads very easily. It spreads certainly as easily as the flu, probably more easily than the flu. So heading into the fall when... Colleges are back in session. Schools are back in session. People are going back to work more. Maybe they're laying the guard down a little bit. There's a real risk that we can have large outbreaks in this country. I don't think we'll see an epidemic on the proportion of what we're having now. I think we can prevent that. But we'll certainly see outbreaks in the fall, and some of them could be quite large.